Hello, welcome to my video series on Reason 9.1. I myself am no expert on Reason, but I want to learn, and what better way to learn it than to try to teach it. So my goal is with this video series is to try to systematically explore every component and every UI element inside Reason, try to get a sense of how it sounds and what it does. Um, to begin with, Reason is, has five major pieces. The mixer, as we see here, which has a whole bunch of UI elements. The rack, which has your devices and instruments. One of the cool things about Reason is just like modular sense of, the, of old, you can actually flip to the back using tab and then using patch cables, you can uh, reprogram these things. Um, there's also um, a lot of different instruments that you can see over here on the browser um, panel on the left. A whole lot of different instruments, and a whole bunch of different effects, a bunch of utilities, and a bunch of players that are new for, nine, new for Reason 9. Below the uh, rack is a sequencer. This is where you would record your audio and create your song, both your MIDI and your audio files. And at the very bottom is a transport panel. So what I plan to do is go into, um, to start off just digging right into some of these instruments. I think I'll start with a Thor to get a feel for it. Later, later episodes, we'll look at the mixer and all the UI there and the sequencer, but we can get pretty far without knowing much of that, much, much of that stuff right now. Um, I will be using the manual throughout this series because I think the manual is fairly well written and has a lot of good information. So I'll be flipping over and reading from it occasionally. I won't read the boring parts, but I'll read the most interesting parts. Um, so I hope you, uh, hope you find this video series useful. And uh, thanks for watching.